Hey guys, welcome back to Fizz's Anyverse. I'm gonna make myself a shovel. Efficiency 2, I'm breaking 3. Oh, I wish I had a level 30 requirement. Hmm, we'll just do efficiency 2. Efficiency 2, a breaking 2. That's pretty good, I think. Maybe, not sure. But we need to go off and go to the desert because I am all out of glass and we need more glass to make up the Taurus. It's almost done. Just need a little teeny bit more things. I kind of want to get more sticks and get some iron shovels just in case. I don't really want to use up the whole diamond shovel. Maybe we can just do iron and that diamond one, but I don't want to, you know, break it. I don't have many diamonds and it's, it's a diamond shovel. I need it. I did get myself a diamond pick with silk touch and mending and an axe with unbreaking efficiency, silk touch and mending. It's kind of weird to silk touch an axe, but it works, you know, it, it works with the efficiency and stuff and the mending. I don't have a actual mending area yet, but I'm hoping to get one. The villagers are doing pretty good. Somehow there's another horse in there. Maybe there's always been two horses in there. I'm not too sure. But today we are going to finish up this Taurus. I just got to go over and get some more glass. There's some people here. That one, I believe, is the Menning Villager. Pretty good trade. 28 or 26 diamonds. Diamonds? No. Is it diamonds? No, emeralds. That's what they have. 26 emeralds for the Mending Book. I believe my anvil did break, but I'm not 100% sure. I do have a lot of iron. I'm not making that iron farm, as I've said before. But... We are definitely going to have a lot of mining to do to get more iron if we ever get low in supply. I don't know how many blocks I have, but I have a lot of unsmelted stuff, a bit smelted stuff, like maybe a stack or two of the ingots. I should have really looked when I was getting the iron out for the shovels. It, it should have showed it there. Maybe one of you guys will go back and tell me, hey, Fizz, you actually have two stacks. You derp. Uh, don't call me a derp. Don't be mean. Just kidding. <laughs> I, I could look myself. I'm just already out here. We're on the way to the desert. The desert's on the other side of this dark oak forest, but we do actually want to chop down some trees. Not now, but later we will because I want to finish up that tour today. All I need to do is make up more glass. Thinking about putting in some bits where it enters into the cave like the transition into andesite actually put the andesite in there's a lot of open area and there's a lot of cobble in there still and we don't need that there we just need you know it to look good it's got to look good and it's gonna look good the floor is in the floor is amazing i love that floor let me go cut on over to that desert it's a bit of a ways should probably go to the nether at some point, you know, get some portal system going. Maybe next episode. What do you think, chicken? Should we go to the nether next episode? I, I take that as a nod. Yes. Okay, next episode. We're going to the nether. Don't know what's going to be there. It's going to be crazy. Hopefully we don't die in lava. Oh, I'm actually kind of worried now. Don't know why I would be. I like the nether a lot more than the end. The end, you fall in the void, you lose all your stuff forever. The nether, you fall in lava, you get out, you burn. You can go back and get your stuff, though. So next episode, we're going to go to the nether. But for now, we're going to go get some sand. I got a problem. I need more space. I have... Okay, good. <laughs> I was hoping that shovel would break. Do I have enough space for all of the sand? No. Okay, I have another problem. I have, like, a single flower in my inventory... But I don't need it. But I don't want to just ditch it like I did with the sticks. The sticks can get ditched. That's fine. I can't ditch the flower. It's a possible gray dye. So we'll just set it there. And then go back and get the rest of the sand. I also had extra shovels here that I had left from the last time I was here. And so I went and used all those up as long as, as well. Not as long. As well as the others that I had brought with me. So I think that's it. Look at all that. I have one arrow. I mean, I could have ditched the arrow. 
And I haven't even gotten into the diamond shovel yet, but I did dig out more of this mountain. This is just, I'm thinking of making like a wasteland here and then having that sphinx idea right there. So it's all wasteland. Might take this down to not bedrock, but just stone. Cause I could always use sandstone for something. I don't know what, I never build with sandstone, but I could use it for something. Maybe a castle. I could put a sand castle here. Hmm. That might be kind of strange. Plus, I don't really like sandstone. The top is interesting. This part is, eh, it's okay. It'd be neat if you could turn it so that the textured side is the side that's on the top. So when you go and you could use it for pathways, it looks, you know, down like that, but that's the pathway. It'd be neat if you could have it positioned different ways. Uh, I need one more piece of sand. Is there any loose sand? I don't see any. Let's head on back. This whole area has been dug out. It's just crazy. But we have a whole entire inventory full of sand, plus some torches, an arrow, and the tools in the bed, which we should sleep in pretty soon. But this is a good amount of sand. I think there was sand here, and that's why this looks so weird. And I don't know why I went this way, but we could make it out. So I'll see you back over at the Taurus. We're going to cook up all the sand and get to chopping down some trees with our nice axe. Oh, wow. Look at that sunset. That's pretty. I got all that sand cooking. So we just need to go on over and get some wood. I'm debating on spruce wood or dark oak. And look at this amazing floor, by the way. I love it. But I'm debating on spruce wood or dark oak. I'm thinking of putting, like, bars or you know, strips of wood in the openings so they're easier to find. I kind of like them being as small as they are, though I might do it by like a three by four, four by four. I don't know. I might go the same height, but maybe go out one more. But we need to get some more dark oak and spruce wood. There's apparently a zombie around. And I have all these nice little wooded areas here that I've been keeping up on so we don't have to run too far out for dark oak. But you know, me and spruce and dark oak, I think I mention this every episode, it's just I'm a big fan. I gotta have it. It's it's one of the best woods. I don't know what other wood I could use that would replace it. I don't use oak, so dark, dark oak is definitely better than oak. I actually used oak to make up more coal to, or not coal, but uh, charcoal to run those furnaces. They, I just didn't need it, you know? They're not needed. And it's insanely dark right here. Oh gosh, let's get a torch out. We'll get a torch. We'll chop all this. We'll just brave all the wild right now. So we're going to run back in and possibly be safe. Though I do remember all of those uh, villagers, <laughs> hopefully they're fine. <laughs> but right now, this is this is pretty good. Let's put a torch there. Come up on this tree. I have a stack of trees. I also got a stack of leaves. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I was chopping down trees around the furnaces, just waiting for them to cook up the rest of that charcoal so I could put it in before we went and chopped the trees down. But I might use it for that one custom tree. I haven't done much with it. I did take down the tree that did grow there and I wanted to put my own tree, but I haven't done much more than that. I feel like this tree needs to go. I feel like all of the dark oak trees need to be cut down so that they'll, all the leaves will despawn and we'll get all those nice saplings. Saplings are very hard to come by with dark oak trees. How tall is this tree? Oh my gosh, it's a very tall, tall dark oak tree. Lots of wood. I thought that was a bad thing. That's a horse. And also on my way over here, I don't know if you heard it, but I heard a parrot. And I'm afraid. I am afraid of the parrot. I don't know where it's at. I thought they were gone. There were maybe four of them left, but the reasoning for them staying is to make up a little museum of some fun stuff. And I thought, heck, I'll keep four of those little guys Four or five. I can't remember how many different colors there are. But I'm going to keep them, put them in that museum as a memory of that episode. 
because I had a ton of fun making that episode. If you haven't seen it, you need to see this episode. I've heard a lot of things about it and people really liked it. And I'm, I'm glad because it was hilarious to film. <laughs> you probably could hear me laughing as I'm trying to be terrified, but I am just laughing or trying not to laugh. Let's see. Oh, I only have th three saplings. What? Hopefully they will all disconnect. Oh no, I think this one's actually connected to a spruce tree. Because it's connected, it won't despawn anything. Those are not connected. That's all connected. And this one is connected as well. So we can do some stuff with spruce. I kind of want to put like um, trap doors on the sides, maybe. That might be a good thing. Hello, creeper. But trap doors on the sides, but I don't know if I want to make them out of dark oak or if I want to make them out of spruce. The dark oak trap doors are pretty because they look like ship doors. And I used them in something. I don't think I used them yet. I was going to use them in something. Maybe that's what it was. Oh, this is all connected as well. But I don't can't remember what a spruce trap door looks like. I'm trying to remember that. Let me sleep and make it safe, and then we'll plant some more trees. Don't take my bed! I need it! Rude. Just see these things falling from the trees, all the apples and the tree saplings. It's pretty great. Let's go around and see what we can find. We have seven saplings right now. I kind of want eight at least. I mean, more than that it would be great, but if we can do eight, we can get two more trees going. Got another skelly. Skelly. Zombie. I'm sorry. I know what you are. Don't burn me. Rude. Any more saplings? Oh, there's a... Oh, we won't get any saplings with that. Use the leaves of the dead tree to pillar up. There we go. Now we'll get some saplings. There's an apple there. Okay, so the idea of the trap doors. I want to have this have an opening, and I believe it should be a, like that, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, because I feel like if we do that, we need to do this. And then it'll be the, y, the width of the four, but I don't want it to be four high. I feel like three would be fine, though we could do a decorative piece right here. So weird to take this down. I spent so long putting it up that it's like, why am I destroying this? But silk touch, not really destroying it. And then they'll be easier to see than this. So this will mimic that side. So if we go across, get rid of all of these, go up. This will also give me a little teeny bit more glass for that roof. Everything is done except for the roof and except for the tunnel. And we need to do the tunnel, but that tunnel is going to be done in andesite. We just got to replace a bunch of the cobble with the andesite. That'll be easy. I have a lot of andesite. I have a lot of dirt and I have a lot of cobble. Don't really need the dirt or the cobble, but it can always be smelted. Can I get one more sapling? Thank you. Let's put another tree here and we're going to go off. We're going to go check out the furnace, see what's going on, and then make up some glass and build up some things. Maybe work on this. Yes, we'll work on that first. The glass is coming along nicely. Got a bit more to do. Lots of sand left in there. But I did find out I got my spruce trapdoors and my dark oak trapdoors confused. I thought that the spruce was something else and the dark oak was the one that looked like a ship. I believe that's what I said. I am opposite. The spruce one is the one that looks like a ship, and the dark oak looks like chocolate. In my opinion, it's a chocolate bar. So we don't need the chocolate ones. We just need the spruce ones. And let's see. I'm thinking if we go and we take maybe not dark oak over here because this is the east and west. No, this is north and south. We're going to put some stairs. So we'll put stairs to make it so we can go up a lot easier. And then put some trap doors right here to mark it out. I was thinking of putting trap doors all along. I'm not sure how that looks. It's kind of 
awkward when you can't see or when you can see that and it's too bad you can't do like um, one at the top and one at the on the side that would be really neat but I do have some spruce slabs so the slabs could work instead if we did a thing maybe with like slabs and did the slabs like that that might be good I don't think we can put a trap door no but hmm, I'm not too sure about this maybe like a slab or just two slabs there for a single block though it doesn't really need to be held up that makes it look like it's held up let's grab all these it's another figure out what works thing so get rid of that that trap door I do like the stair idea what if it was mimicked right here because this line lines up with that and we did stairs like this how would that look it looks pretty interesting it definitely gives off that entrance vibe and then if we did oh those are slabs I thought those were trapdoors we did trapdoors here that looks interesting I'm not a fan of it and I wish kind of that these stairs right there would be the turn stairs yes that's a bit better it hides that little edge looks interesting but it's better let me check a thing what if we had to continue and there was a, a ledge of stairs that faced the correct way this might be a little bit too much detail I feel it might be plus it's extra wood I already did all that with like the edging on everything of the pathway so I'm not sure if I really want to have an edged thing that way and we would have to do something else hmm. now that's not good and it'll give it like some stripe look and that just blocks part of the view that we need and that's what the view is good about okay so another idea is instead of the stairs keep having to pick all this stuff up instead of the stairs what if we just did slabs then that you don't have the edge that's blocked and it looks pretty good and then on here we could do a trap door it kind of works but I'm not sure oh I know let's test it on this side so we put a stair and then we put a trap door that looks I like that that looks pretty interesting it gives it that neat archway look can we put another one let's see put another trap door here it kind of makes the stair float or not float but it kind of connects doesn't connect with the stair but we could do that part with the stair I like that it gives a good opening not 100% sure on it but that's kind of the idea I'm going for I feel like we need to have something over here maybe expand this out just a little teeny bit maybe have a stair there instead of a slab I'm not sure let's see let's get rid of this put a stair here give it like a pillar kind of look and then have a slab like that oh those are trap doors the slabs and the trap doors look so familiar in my hotbar oh hello water that random water that I need to remove okay so you could go up and down this and get rid of the water by filling it in with some dirt which I don't have any on me right now let's just do some andesite fill that in we can remove that later so it would work with this I kind of like that I'm not a hundred percent sure about how it looks I feel like there needs to be something on the sides I really wish that side um, slabs were a thing side slabs would be amazing right here but if we did more trapdoors which are now in my inventory I just went down like this and then we would have to put one there it's not facing the same kind of makes it look like a big pillar I don't know I'm not sure about this I might have to go and think about this a little teeny bit more 
see what kind of design I want to do. But I do want an entryway. I just don't know what kind of entryway would be good. I think I found a solution. And it looks really epic. I put some grass in here to cover up the andesite. But when I was coming back from grabbing the, the grass from this location, look at this. That looks so steampunky, and I am a fan of the steampunk. It just looks amazing to me. So it's just like, I don't know, like it's being held down, though it doesn't need to be held down, but it looks like it is. And I had a cool idea for that kind of thing at the, at the tunnel entrance, you know, like have a archway around it to make it look like it's anchored down. And I know I've talked about how you don't need to have things anchored down because it's Minecraft and, you know, there's no actual physics and logic in this game. But that looks cool. I went with the two wide because the one wide just seemed kind of like, eh, to me. <laughs> but this two wide is pretty neat. And it's super simple. I had to go get more spruce. But I just go along like that. And we had to get more uh, trap doors. Uh, let's get the chocolate bars out. Oh, there they are. So all the trap doors go down this way. I think I did that one the wrong way. They need to connect to the to the bottom of the upper one. And then lay them all down. Go to here. Oh, wrong way. It's hard to get the trap doors to look right. You want to have them all facing the same way or the little planks of wood look a little bit wonky. But that looks neat. I really like that. Let's grab some andesite and pillar up again. I used the glass that I took out from the entryway to fill in a little teeny bit more of this um, to get, you know, the roof in to test it. And it looks great, but now there's a little bit of holes. There is glass underneath all the wood, so that's a good thing. So let's go on over here. We're going to need to have stairs. So the stairs will go and cover up some stuff. And then it slabs. Let's do, wait, is it slab there? No, it's a stair there because it goes up. Okay, it's kind of hard to do this when you don't have the glass in. Let's put a andesite in so we can slab this up. Slabs go all the way over. It's going to mimic the other side. But I am so excited about this. Before, with the circle, I'm like, this doesn't look good. I don't know what I'm thinking here. This looks bad. And I'm glad I have found a solution that I really enjoy. You, you give me anything steampunky, and it's, it's the best thing ever. Okay, we have to get some stairs here. I was also very confused when I was going along and I'm like, why doesn't this side match the other side? And then I remember this, there's an inside and an outside to this. Of course, it's not going to match inner ring, outer ring. They don't match. Why would I think they did? I don't know. Let's get rid of that dirt. That dirt was there when back when it was just one level of stuff to jump up such a long time ago. Okay, slabs, not slabs, trap doors. They need to go on the upper edge. I think that was right. No, that was too high. Can I reach that? Thank you. I need you back. So let's grab. There we go. That one and that one. Good to go. So it's going to take a lot of slabs, but look at that. It's so great. If we ever get any kind of like glowstone or anything, we could put a glowstone right here, glowstone or sea lantern, and then have the, the not have the torches here. And I think that's going to look really good. Can I reach that andesite? No, I cannot. And these are slabs. Can't build on that. Can build on top of the stairs though. Get the andesite, get that andesite. And then I'm going to go grab that glass. And least we can do is get the ceiling done on this. The ceiling is going to look great. Probably go around and do these on the other side. I'm even though the entrance to the west, is that west? East. The entrance to the east is a dark oak entrance. I'm going to do the spruce bands because the spruce just looks better. I don't want to have chocolate bars on the wall. As good as chocolate is, I think the chocolate would just look kind of weird. Let's go grab that glass, dye it up, and then I'll come back and show you what everything looks like. The ceiling is pretty much done. I think it looks amazing. The little... uh brackets. I don't know what to call them. The tethers that hold this thing down like it's going to float away. Anchors it to the ground. I think that looks amazing. It's weird to see on the inside, but on the outside, it's it's cool. I really like it. I need to do a lot of landscaping fixing around here, like behind the pond. 
And I, I don't know, I should end up at the pond where it is, but I might change up how the terrain is, like have it be lower in some places, like all of that seems way too high. I feel like the, the house should be up, or not up, but lower than it is, the, you know, the blacksmith. So I might change this up, maybe get rid of a lot of that and have the blacksmith shop just on a little hill. I do like where the cafe is at, it, the ground isn't too high there. But other than that, it's pretty great. And this is my the last of my glass. I went and got the rest of it out. It's actually the last of my dye. So when this is gone, I need to go and get more dye. Hopefully this goes all the way to the tunnel. But I don't think it will. And plus, the stuff on the other side, like past the bookshop or the bookmobile or whatever that is going to be, which the books are actually gone. They got they got used for um, enchanting reasons, but we can always get more books. We have, we got librarians. They trade. They have a book trade, right? We, we can make more. I mean, we got cows. Every time they die, I get their leather. It's pretty great. There's a, there was a ton of leather inside of the cow cooker at one point because they were just dying there. And I used all of that leather, leather to trade with a leather worker. A uh, villager just for emeralds just to see what trade it had I can't remember what the trade was it was good enough for me to trade like a bunch of stacks of leather with though the farmers are probably the easiest ones to trade with because you get you know you just got to trade them the stuff that you grow and that stuff that you grow is very simple to come by let's go back so we don't have holes in our area but when we get done with this glass I'm gonna need more dye and I think I have enough glass, but I don't have any more dye. I need to find more flowers or get more bones and squid ink. That was how I was doing some of that dye. But after this, there's nothing left. Squids are really easy to come by. You know, single player world, they spawn everywhere in the river. There are like a bunch of rivers everywhere. So I don't have a problem with that. I don't even think maybe I'll need a squid farm. Though I'm tempted to make one just because I can. But I don't know if it'd be in the ocean or if I would just do like a river thing. They Those can be done. I've seen it recently. It's kind of cool how those happen. How much glass do we have left? That was the last of the glass. Okay, so we definitely need more glass. We need to get to the tunnel. Going to put something there. Maybe just have it merge into andesite. The idea, you know, let's get back down there and take a look. I've jumped down there from this so many times. I keep hurting myself. My poor ankles, but this is a nice way to get down. Just, you know, use the trapdoor system and then get rid of the blocks that I used to pillar up. Let's take a look inside. That is pretty cool. So over here, it's going to merge on into andesite. We do have andesite. All of this is going to get changed. I kind of left a gap, but I'm thinking where it has these gaps, you know, just take out a few blocks, put that where it merges to andesite, give it that really neat effect, like it's transitioning. It, it'll look good. And then back here, change up some stuff. I mentioned a museum, and I'm thinking maybe have an opening here, put an underground museum. I'm not sure how that would go. It might be good, it might not be good, but one thing for sure, I'm going to put these birds in that museum. We have to remember that episode, because that episode was hilarious. And there were five different types of birds, and I kept one of each. Hello. But thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and all this glass placing. It is really coming together. I got no boots or hats on, but I think it's going to look great. Everything is going to look great. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.